So what I prime my face with is Napoleon Prudis Autopilot Pre-Foundation Primer. And the reason why I like this is it has a natural silicon in it rather than silicon like a lot of primers, which later on down the track actually clogs your pores up. So with the natural silica, it will help with oil control, but at the end of the day, it doesn't block your pores and that's why I absolutely love this. So you want to use around a five to 10 cent size piece um, a primer and using just a foundation brush this one is the 19B Napoleon Protus I just put this all over the face and really try to spread that product because a little product goes a long way with this from there I like to grab my Napoleon Protus pore minimizer and I have a lot of open pores around this area of my face and what this does is that it helps smooth out that area. It doesn't clog the pores at all, but it does help the foundation not sink into the pores. For priming my eyelids, I like to use Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which looks something like this. This is the original formula. For my concealer, I use Ben Nye's Mellow Yellow, my Dash 2, and also Napoleon Protus, the One Concealer. You can choose to use one. If anything, I would go with Napoleon Protus, the One Concealer, over Ben Nye's Mellow Yellow, just because I find that this can cover everything from pigmentation to discoloration around the eye and any like outbreaks that you might have too. So grabbing my G14 brush and my Mellow Yellow Ben Nye, I like to start by applying a little bit of concealer to my lower lash line and blending outwards. You'll find that most discoloration around the eye happens right near this area of the eye so it's really important to get it close to that lash line and don't worry if you get a little bit of concealer in your eye concealers are very very gentle they're made for this area grabbing my Napoleon Protus the one concealer I like to apply a little amount right in this area of the eye and not around that area you'll find if you brighten up the eye too much under here they'll actually close out the eye rather than open it up so I like to apply a little bit of extra concealer right in that area I then like to grab the one concealer and just apply it to any red areas that I might find around my face. From there, I like to grab my Napoleon Purtis Stick Foundation in Look 3 and also my Complexion Perfection Stippling Brush 17S. Yeah, it's a 17S. Um, and I like to use this with my stick. What I like to do is just grab a little bit of the stick on the end of my brush, place it onto my hand, and spread it. What this does is that it warms up the product and it really allows you to work that product into your skin. So just grabbing a little bit of a time, I'm just going to start with my feature focus area because that's where majority of our product should be applied. Really just stipple in the product and blend away that way it really works in the product you can even use your fingers as well really press that product in you don't want that product to sit just on top of the skin you want it to really really blend with the skin irregardless if you have any outbreaks or anything like that you can still use these techniques and still get a flawless base
So whatever I have left on my hand, which is not a lot of product, I like to place it on the top of my forehead. And the reason for this is just because you'll find that your oil line on the top of your hairline will actually push the foundation down during the day. So you really don't want your foundation to drip down your face. People can notice that. So, so after applying my foundation on my face, I like to fill in my eyebrows and I will put a tutorial up on how to fill in, well, how I fill in my eyebrows. Um, but yeah, after doing all that, I like to take my camera finish by Napoleon Purtis in G4, Golden Sand, I'm pretty sure that's cool. And just a Kabuku brush, any will do really. And I really like to press in this product. I find that using, you know, just a normal powder brush like that, powder really doesn't stay on my face, especially with my face being so, so oily. So yeah, that's just my foundation routine. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think. I promise that you will get a flawless foundation base, especially using this foundation. It's absolutely amazing, regardless of whether you have like acne, acne scars, um, any breakouts or anything like that, it will cover it up. Trust me, I have used this on my clients as well. So yeah, this is definitely a big recommendation for you guys if you're after that flawless finish. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, this one's just an everyday foundation routine that I use and I'm quite happy with it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that.